Riser circuit. For this riser circuit, you're going to accomplish two things. One, we're definitely going to get the heart rate up and we want some good, solid, heavy breathing. The other thing is you're probably going to notice some good burn in the quads. We're going to perform three exercises. The first one I just call side to sides. So I'm going to have one leg on the riser. In slow motion, it looks like this. I'm popping up and just as this leg is about to land, I'm catching on the other side. As slow motion as I can get it. So like so, this is in real time, it's going to be up, step, 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 moving out to the side. What you want to try and avoid with this exercise, which I often see, is people bring the top leg off too fast. So from here, they switch and they step with this, and they step and they step and they step. Try and stay nice and light on the feet and just absorbing with the knees like so, making sure you get that tension in the quads. One rep is step and then step. From there, we're moving on to knee drops. One leg on, I'm gonna drive that knee up, step, drive that knee up, step, drive that knee up, step. You have the option with your knee drives either to add a little hop, or if you're not ready for the hop yet, just drive the knee, keeping it planted. You're gonna perform all your reps on one side, and then switch, perform all your reps on the other side. The hardest exercise of them all is going to be your A jump. So with your A jump, I'm down here like so, and prop up, land nice and light, prop up, land nice and light, prop up, land nice and light. Like I said, definitely the hardest one of them all. The higher I place my risers, so I'm three high here, which is pretty advanced, the higher I place my risers, the more challenging the exercise will be. If you can't perform the A jumps, what I suggest doing is just stepping up, walking down, give me a squat, step up, walk down, Give me a squat like so, just to avoid any type of injury.